So we got a lot of built-ins, a lot of specialty things going on that we want to get laid out so that we don't have ducks in the way and returns and thermostat wiring and all that kind of stuff. So the better we can do that now, this is the last chance we're going to see this uncovered. Gotcha. We're going to set ourselves up for success. So the first thing we're going to do is doors. So we'll cross-reference the, the plan for door swing and then let's just check it in, in the field here. So this door on this bathroom showing a right hand and it looks like a right hand door will work well here. So I'm just going to check measurement for a rough opening, 210 and a half and that's perfect for a 2-8 door. And we know it's a right hand because we put our butt to the butt and whichever way your hand swings is the door swing. So that's a right hand. So I'm going to label this side as the hinge side. I'm going to write 2-8 so that way when they come to measure for doors that it's there. And then I'm going to indicate which way the door is going to swing. So that way, when the electrician comes in, the first thing he's going to want to do is, where can I put my switch? So now he knows he can put a switch on here. Had we not done this, he could have guessed, and we put the switch here. Next thing you know, the door opens, and you never discover that until the finish. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out the bathrooms. So we'll start with a shower here. And this is a 48 by 32 inch shower. You want to mark that there. And we've got 32. Okay, and then 32 here. All right, so that means we need a blocker there for our shower glass. All right, so this wall is our valve wall. So we're going to let the plumbers know that the valve is on this side. All right, and then the shower ends here. So we're going to want a block for backer for our shower glass right there. So the opposite side here, we've got the toilet up against that outside wall there. So we know a toilet rough is 18 inches off of one side. So we're going to go 18 and a half to account for drywall. And fortunately, that's going to work well with that joist right there. Okay. So I'm going to measure 18 off of that center line. That gives us a total of 36 inches for that toilet location. So the next thing we're going to do is the vanity, and that is what? Kevin? 54 by 20. Okay. So we got 54 from this mark. So I try to make it painfully obvious so that anybody can see and, it, and that there's, so there's no mistakes. All right, Kevin, the next thing we're going to do you're going to really appreciate when we go to do finish work. We're going to mark all the stud locations on the floor so that way once the drywall is over we know where every stud is in the room. All right, so five seconds worth of work and it'll save us yep, an hour of laying out studs at the finish. Awesome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.